I'm sure at least one of you must have thought what I did when we uh, had this speech assignment. Ugh, community service, right? And it's pretty natural. I mean, when you think about community service, what comes to mind? Organizations devoted to restoring and protecting and enabling, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. But there's more than just that. And as important as handing out meals and flyers can be, there are organizations that do more than that. And that's where Speed Demos Archive, or SDA, comes in. I've worked with them, and let me tell you, it's a blast. Today, we'll talk about who they are, what they do, and how they work. But first, who are these people? Well, SDA's uh, website describes them as an archive of high-quality speedruns. Back when the site first opened in April 1998, they were an archive of videos of people playing a particular video game, Quake, and attempting to get to the end of the game as quickly as possible. People would upload their demos, their in-game recordings, to the site and see who could beat the game the fastest. Speedruns Live, another community site, defines speedrunning as playing a game with the intent of completing a goal as quickly as possible. SDA now archives over 800 different games with uh, some highlight times, like Pokemon Blue cleared in an hour and 30 minutes, Super Mario 64 cleared in seven minutes with zero stars, and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in four minutes and 46 seconds. No, that's not a typo. So that's really cool and all, but what does that have to do with charity? Awesome Games Done Quick is Speed Demos Archive's yearly charity marathon. Speedrunners from all over the world gather in one place and play games for a week straight. It's free to watch on their marathon page and can be watched from anywhere in the world. How does this raise money, though? SDA calls them donation incentives. Now, some are prizes. Donate during a block of Zelda games and you're entered into a drawing for a real-life Master Sword. Some are goals. Donate before a certain deadline and a player might have some sort of special condition imposed on them, like having to wear a blindfold or use a very underpowered character. Some are donation races where there are multiple goals and whichever one wins by the end whichever one has the most donated to it is the one that goes into effect. But the greatest incentive isn't anything on their tracker. If you donate, you can have your name and a comment you leave with your donation read to several thousand people. It might sound silly, but it's done a surprising amount of work for uh, encouraging donations. Up until last year, SDA, according to their marathon page, had raised $150,000. And last year? Last year they completely obliterated the record previously held by uh, charity gaming marathon Desert Bus for Hope 6, raising $448,000 just last year. So, how do the finances work? Yeah, I know, really exciting, but this is important stuff. For one, let's, let's get the elephant out of the room first. Their marathon page very clearly states that all of the money goes towards working for charity. 100%. Now, specifically what they do is they work with scientific organizations to find people in need of grants and then use this money to fund new research. They've, in the past, funded uh, several grants for autism and cancer research, uh, specifically preventing cancer. Twitch.tv, the site they use to stream, pays for the bandwidth for outputting 1080p video for an entire week by running an ad once or twice over the stream each hour. The prizes are donated by runners, often, 
uh, they're often handmade prizes, like uh, perlers or, well, a real life master sword from one particularly uh, one particularly interesting runner. The runners bring their equipment with them and set up there. Uh, they pay their own travel expenses. So, why SDA? I think it fits the spirit of charity perfectly. It's just a bunch of average people banding together, and with a little luck and a lot of skill, they can do together what none of them could do apart. Thank you.